working on these other projects, the barn is getting neglected a little bit, but we do need to figure out, uh, we're going to build a picnic structure here and we need to figure that thing out before I can do a whole lot more on the barn. Um, but a higher priority is to, we've been running power over here to the barn so that we can power our walk-in freezer. So back here in the back of the container, past all of our household items that we can't fit in our house. <laughs> We're gonna start putting together that uh, walk-in freezer back here. So right now I'm cutting a sheet of plastic that uh, you're supposed to put down a vapor barrier underneath it. So that's what I'm working on right now. Cut a piece of plastic six feet long. I need a six by ten, so this this is I think twenty feet wide. I'm gonna cut ten feet off of it. I'm reading my instructions. Here's my layout of how I'm going to put in my corner piece and the wall pieces that connect to it after I put in the floor. This is the condensing unit that's going to be inside the freezer and then there'll also be a condensing unit outside the freezer.
and like essential oils and things like that. Right now I've got a freezer load of goldenrod. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna try it for kind of some kidney detox nourishment. I noticed that this little tiny yellow spider, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can see it. Looks like it was trying to evacuate the goldenrod because, you know, I guess we can't find every single little bug that's in there. <laughs> so we'll see how that comes out. It'll make it store well and keep all the nutritional and beneficial factors. Well, I didn't show you the product right straight off the trays when it was done, but basically it looked exactly the same as it does fresh, except it was crispy like if, like if you hung it and dried it and it turned brown and crispy. It, it felt crispy like that, but uh, it was, you know, it still had all this beautiful color, just like it was freshly picked. So really cool. The whole entire five trays fits in that bag. Fortunately, it crushes down really easy. So it's compacts well. part done I put in half the ceiling and I installed the evaporator which is what this is called <laughs> got it uh, bolted to the ceiling just went right through the top and so now um, I'll have some HVAC guys come out and take a look at it and they're gonna what they'll need to do is hook up this uh, on an air conditioning unit, you call it the, the line set. These two copper connections need to go out the wall, go outside to the condensing unit. Um, and then I think also this might be a drain that needs to drain out. And I think you gotta put some electrical tape or something, not, not electrical tape, but uh, a heat tape around it to, so it doesn't freeze. So I'll put, I left half the roof off just in case uh, the guys need it for access of any kind. If they don't, then I'll just start putting that on when they're not working. And uh, then I'll also need to run 
some electrical to this light fixture, which will also energize the thermometer um, that gives you a readout on the outside. That'll be about it. showed you that we were freeze drying some. Now I'm making some tea. Looks like it's ready. It's, it's kind of golden. So I did take a tiny sip. It's kind of herbal. Tastes like goldenrod. <laughs> it's supposed to be good for uh, cleaning your kidneys and sort of a kidney nourishment. Also anti-inflammatory. Um, that's good for allergies. I don't usually suffer from allergies, but here there's a lot of pine trees just because so many people farm pine trees. So I did have allergies this past spring, so this might be a good thing to bring out in the spring and prepare to deal with some of that stuff. So, tastes good. <laughs>